I for I forgot, is it also on Terrace where Jahani's Sever thing happened? Not Terrace, but not. Like where uh, someone sees him they recognize. I am able to get her side quest triggered pretty much anywhere. Oh, okay. So it can what? happen anywhere. I'll have to see what else I can make. Carrie, really? More? Carrie. <laughs> okay, let's see if any of these. How can I help? Really? Then I suggest. Carrie, you have something to say? Yes, what's on your mind? Nope. Say it to my face. Party selection. Something on your mind, do you? Oh, it says something on my mind. Uh, what if I walk on the ship? All of you spill out your souls to me. Spill all your hearts and souls. To oh, me. here we go. Oh, yeah. Why do you? Why did you leave the Jedi? <laughs> Who said I left the Jedi? Uh... Either one or two. Well, technically I was only a Padawan. Not that that makes a difference to most, but as for the Order itself, no, I never left it. It left me. <laughs> the dumbest thing ever. I'm so tempted. Either one or three. You know what I hate? Well, you know, lots of things, really, but I'm old and easily annoyed, but that's besides the point. What I really hate are how most people view the Jedi. Everyone thinks that the Jedi are perfect, that they can do no wrong. They think the Jedi Council is completely incapable of injustice. Wow. Phil Lee, Bindo, and Bacard really do have to sit down and talk to each other. Indeed, it's kind of scary. Uh, uh, I certainly don't think that. I guess you aren't as stupid as you sometimes are. Oh! No doubt you've been on the receiving oh! end of Jedi justice at least once, wow. eh? And I'm not even talking Imagine about Imagine if he said that to Anastasia the or. Oh. No, that's plenty indication like, you know, of our like, fallibility. Uh, Something else the other version of her. No, That's I'm talking about how more than often not, your average robe wearing Jedi can try to do the right thing and still be completely wrong. Oh wow, I'm hearing like the medical stuff in the background. That's cool. Oh, that is cool. Uh... <coughs> Either two or three? No, no, the Jedi always treated me well. It would be foolish and untrue to say otherwise. That's not what I meant anyway. Come to think of it, I don't have to be clear. Someone my <laughs> age is entitled to ramble, damn it. But for your sake, I'll try to explain. I'll tell you a tale about a Jedi master I once knew. Hortaf, I think. Or was it Hortoff? Ah, I can never get it straight. I can never get it straight. <laughs> oh, jeez. That'd be so mean to save three. No, we're saving it. Where was I then? Oh, oh yes. Master Hortaf. He was a kindly old Jedi who meant well. But the most nearsighted thing in the core, I swear. <laughs> he would walk into walls, knock over tables, mistake apprentices for rancor beasts, you know, that sort of thing. And he was too proud to submit to proper treatment. Some used to counsel him in the urge to use the Force, Master Hordath. Allow the Force to see for you. But he refused to believe that his eyes were failing. He simply squinted more and more as the years went on. The other Jedi resignedly passing it off as the amusing quirk of a compassionate old man. Uh, go on. So, 
One day a young Padawan meets Master Horath in the courtyard and not knowing of his blindness asks him for directions oh, gosh, to the council. This Quite one. sure of himself, <laughs> Horath gave the lad directions, which happened to lead back outside and away from the Enclave. The Padawan is confused, naturally. He asks if Master Horath is <coughs> sure, and of course Master Horath says that he is. The Padawan suggests that perhaps he should ask someone else. But the proud Hordath now feels insulted. He tells the Padawan to take the route he prescribed and no other. Rather dejectedly, the Padawan did as he was told, and so ended up leaving the Jedi Order forever. It was decided that the boy's fate was to leave the Order anyway, though whether that was out of respect for Hordath or because the boy went off to something else, well, we'll never know. <laughs> uh, either one or two. Not much. I never knew the Padawan nor met Master Hordath himself. He was before my time. I don't understand. <laughs> the tale is about blindness, and I thought the point was clear. At any rate, you think about it. You're the one who asked why the Jedi left me, remember? Now let's get going. My feet are itching for a good run. Oh. Yes. Hello, Iggs. Thanks, D. I was remembering times. Oh, I remember times. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so tempting. I'm sorry, Jahani, because no, I it's obviously right. can't. I think I'm over the worst of it. I apologize again for lashing out at you. Uh, that's me gagging. <laughs> it was a horrible place to have to live. At least in the lower cities. I did. I hated no her more than that. to get relegated. <laughs> Living for but years in a place with no sun. Living off the trash dropped from the upper levels. Confessions time. And meager pay <laughs> doing back-breaking labor. Uh... Uh, how did you survive, I guess? My family and I struggled each and every day to make something of our lives. But we could only go so far. Taxes from the corrupt government, more fees from the gangs controlling the streets, and whatever was left paying for what food and medical supplies we could afford. Mm. Nope. Uh, nope. I guess two or three. It did not. But only because of the Jedi who came. It was very bad. We had no money to spare for any amenities. Even the Enclave on Dantooine seems a paradise mm. in comparison. And of course, there was the constant bigotry and hate from the more affluent and human citizens, lording their wealth over us living below. Every once in a while, a rich human would come down through the lower levels with his droid entourage just to see how the wild wow. and laughed at the mockeries that were our successes. But I have come to meet many decent humans in my travels since those days. Thank you. Indeed, some of the greatest people I have ever met are human. Uh, like who? The Jedi who encouraged me to join the Order. The one who was with the group going to fight the Mandalorians. She was human. I, I suppose I see something of her in you when I look... I am sorry. I am getting away from my point. If there even was one. So was it Revan? I curse yeah. the day my parents fled to Tarsh. Oh, snap. <coughs> and again, if they had not, I would not be where I am today. Uh, I guess, uh, man, I don't know which one, because both, all three of them are good. Uh, your turn? Another story for another time. For now, we must continue our own epic to save the galaxy if we can. Alrighty. It's not if we can, it's that we will. Exactly, Johanny. Be more positive. Exactly. I mean, look at us. <laughs> look how amazing we 